Uh, my name is Terence Joyce, and uh, we just finished installing this painting. Uh, the painting was inspired by Pope Francis's courageous words and actions at this time in history, challenging governments, financial institutions, churches, uh, education, and uh, his words inspired the painting of Christ doing the same thing several thousand years ago. Uh, he challenged the leaders of his time. And I, uh, the vision I got when I heard what Francis was saying was of Christ cleansing the temple, but afterwards, moments after, he showed that he's capable of anger, full human, capable of anger, but he put down his whip. And there must have been people who stayed to listen. Some people can be seen in, on the upper left there, running away with their belongings and animals. Uh, but some people must have stayed. Uh, they might have heard him before at the temple teaching. They might have heard him someplace else in Israel teaching. Uh, and they wanted to hear a little more. And uh, this guy, I guess, is portraying a lot of people were doing, the, the finances were really pretty screwed up at the temple at that time. And he's saying, well, what can we do? We have to take care of our family too. Tell us a better way. And Christ is pointing to a better way. Uh, the, the way of giving to each other, not just taking, the way of helping each other, uh, feeding the poor, helping the injured, welcoming the marginalized. And to me, that's exactly what Francis Pope the Pope is saying, and that's exactly what the Comboni missionaries are doing. And this painting is in the library of the Comboni Missionary Headquarters in Cincinnati, Ohio. So here I, we have a group of people who are staying, they're listening to his teachings, they're wondering what they can do. This may be the woman from the well in, in Samaria. Did I get that right? Uh, she's offering maybe a class, uh, some water. She brought a jug of water. This may be the rich young man. And he's depicted maybe finally changing his mind with the advice that Christ gave him. Maybe he will give all his money to the poor. And he's depicted there dropping his coins out of his pouch. Uh, this could be Nicodemus who loved the words of Jesus and, 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 and talked theology with him. Perhaps one of the centurions that Christ helped his servant or a child, uh, a Greek intellectual. All these people were allowed in the, this court of the temple at that time. But it's also going on in the temple, the prices of sacrificial animals, the prices of taxes had escalated so much. And the thought was that Jews could only pray at the temple with any integrity uh, of reaching God. So they come to the temple, as Jesus did that morning, with his prayer shawl and his yarmulke, um, and, and want to pray to their God. But the price of a, a goat, the price of a, a, a dove, had escalated that they were going into bankruptcy. And, and the, the, the priests were getting richer. A lot of the money was going to Rome. And Christ had seen this ever since he was a child. Uh, this perhaps is Mary and Joseph. Uh, when they brought him here as a child, the price of a dove wasn't the same. It had escalated. And he had watched this over 33 years. He had watched uh, the mechanisms of the temple deteriorate and corrupt. And he had finally on this day, he said enough. And that's part of his teaching as far as this painting is concerned. He's teaching that when you see something that is evil or bad or hurting other people, you have to say something. So he's not only teaching a better way, just by his own actions, he's teaching, I can't take this anymore, I have to say something. He knew he was going to get killed if he said that, even though just several days earlier, Palm Sunday, he was accepted as a, 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 a messiah, a special person. So that's what this, uh, this, is, this whole painting is, him teaching in many different ways. Uh, he's pointing to a better way. Up above his finger is the Holy Spirit sending down angels and saints and prophets uh, to, to witness this wisdom, uh, to witness it. There's angels descending to watch this. So on this side is a lot of what's going on now. So the Kamboni missionaries uh, have, have uh, been a successful uh, organization because their whole goal was to teach Africans to take care of Africans, and they've done that, even in this culture of the church failing in so many ways. So here's some of the Kambonis. Um, teaching children to give fruit and, and to, to the poor. This is a Kamoni nun helping a family in distress with um, 
food and diapers. And uh, this is Francis of Assisi. Uh, this is a story of a child asking the help for his, uh, her alcoholic family. And Christ said, gave him a toolbox and said, you, 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 you take care of your own family. And this is Francis doing that for this man. Mother Teresa washing his feet. This is a Native American Indian family uh, with a little girl offering an ear of corn at some festival that they're going through. Um, I was very inspired by the, uh, the, the actions of Christ at the temple, and they're similar to what Mahatma Gandhi was saying and did, and, and Martin Luther King, who are also here, and Sri Chinmoy. And they saw wrongs, and they said something, and they died for it. And that's exactly what Christ was doing. Uh, there's uh, groups of, uh, there's a procession going on, and maybe an All Saints Day in the back, men carrying statues. Uh, they're bringing them out through the city, out into, they're carrying the words of the saints and Christ out into the world. Uh, I, I placed uh, Teresa of Avila here. She was a teacher of mystical prayer. And so th this is a Kamboni nun teaching music. She's teaching prayer, which they all do anyhow. But that's what the whole painting is about. Christ pointing to a better way. With his own life at stake, he had to say, this is a better way. Uh, the sky is filled with angels. The pillars are falling apart with his words. He said the temple will collapse and uh, I'll rebuild it. And it's falling apart and light is coming down. Uh, on the left corner is the Lion of Judea. The right corner is the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. So there's a lot of people, uh, festival, music, community. It's all about how to be in community with each other, loving, which I think or what the inspiration of this painting was. And I think that's what Francis the Pope is saying these days. So uh, I was inspired by a, a very great man. And this painting now is at the library of the Kaboni Missionary Headquarters in Cincinnati. Okay. About a seven and uh, over here is uh, perhaps uh, Jesus' mother Mary, perhaps Joseph with their angel above them who followed them around all the time, apparently. Uh, but even as distressed as Mary is, wondering what's going to happen to her son, uh, she kind of knew that this was it. He's saying stuff that's going to get him killed. Her heart was big enough, and even as a grieving mother, she's still Mary, Queen of Angels, sending out angels to anybody in distress, anybody else needing help. And besides the angels, she's sending Francis of Assisi, Mother Teresa, Kamboni missionaries, people to help. 